Hello friends, welcome to my channel Creating Essence. I am Megan, thank you so much for stopping by today. Today I wanted to share with you one of our go-to recipes. It is a coconut curry rice noodle. I know this is probably not authentically Asian anything, but it is Asian inspired, it has some curry flavors, it has coconut milk, so that's what we call it. I hope I'm not offensive to anyone by making an inauthentic dish. This is something that I found on a blog years ago and made often and then found suddenly the recipe had vanished. It was just gone. The blogger had shut down her blog and I didn't think to print the recipe beforehand. So now I've made it up by memory with those same flavors and I'm sharing it with you all in case it's something you'd like. So here are the ingredients you'll need. We have two cups of homemade chicken stock, roasted red peppers, a little soy sauce. You can also step coconut aminos. If you avoid soy, we do fermented soy, so we like this one, but coconut aminos work well too. A package of rice noodles, thick or thin, work quite well here. A can of unsweetened coconut milk, a whole bunch of garlic, some limes. These will be for garnish. They're not necessary, but they are very tasty at the end. Cilantro, also a garnish, as well as the green onions. We just cut these up and leave them on the side, so anybody who wants them can use them. We're going to be using a red curry paste and some sesame oil to cook in. First up, we have a pot of water on to boil on high for our rice noodles. Next, I have my wok here. Yes, you can use a good size skillet if you don't have a wok. I'm gonna put in a couple tablespoons of toasted sesame oil. And to the sesame oil, we add, that's probably about six cloves of garlic chopped up. Turn the heat on high and let them start to sizzle. Now that this is all bubbling, we're going to add a roasted red pepper. We like the texture of this better because it kind of melts away into the sauce, but you can just add plain julienne or chopped peppers. To this, I am adding about two tablespoons of the red curry paste. I'm going to turn the heat down to about a medium high and just let this incorporate and simmer. Looks like my water is going in there, so it's time to get the noodles in. Rice noodles. Move them around a little so they don't stick to each other and clump up right away. And then let them boil for about three minutes. Now that the coconut milk mixture is bubbling, we're going to add one cup of stock. I am using chicken stock. You can use vegetable if you want to keep this vegan. So going to add about a quarter cup of soy sauce. All right, it's starting to come back to a boil or a simmer, I suppose, and my noodles are almost done. So since I have a kiddo that is sensitive to texture, I am going to use my immersion blender to completely smooth out this sauce. If you don't mind textures and you want your pieces of pepper and garlic in there, totally fine, just leave it alone. But we like to make it smooth. Now it's come back to a boil, so I shut off the heat and add our strained rice noodles. And now it is done. Looks delicious. And we have our three garnishes so we can dress up bowls however we like.
Thank you so much for sticking around, friends. Let me know if you have a recipe like this. Let me know if you try this recipe in the comments below if you've ever tried anything like it before. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Bye-bye, friends.